Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. In this installment, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 news stories of 2014. Because you know I'm all about that. Between all that bass, no trouble. Then trying to be fancy, we've barely had time to keep up with the news. Before we get into the year's top stories, here are some of 2014's top pop culture moments. Well, that's just as fascinating as the first 89 times you told me that. Well, tonight is our last show for real, and uh, see, I don't need to get fired three times. I get the hint. I get the hint. So the total bond would be uh, $2,500. LaBeouf's latest apparent attempt at grabbing attention involved a paper bag and a magic marker. I think you can tell how good or bad a person you are based on how many seconds you wait to Google Jennifer Lawrence nude after hearing the news. <laughs> Anything under 60, you're going to hell. Magazine and Hello Magazine with a first look at the Clooney splashy star-studded nuptials. I think we have more moments where I say, I'm gonna be a better, I'm gonna be a better wife. I'm gonna learn to cook. And he says, oh honey, just give it up. Like just know what you're good at, know what you're not. I got one last problem without you. Bro, Kim's maid of honor is one of her sisters. Con Kanye's best man is Kanye. That's wow, very interesting. Really? I'm proud to be gay, and I consider being gay among the greatest gifts. And I am here today because I am gay. Did you watch these guys? That was hardcore! Hardcore, baby! I'm lighting on my feet. I'm the best corner of the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're gonna get. That's it. That's it. No, I don't buy it. And it's gonna be all right. And now, our list. Scotland has voted no. The result in Fife has taken the no campaign over the line, and the official result is a no. Number 10, the South Korean ferry disaster. This high school field trip turned into one of South Korea's worst ever disasters. On April 16th, a ferry traveling between two South Korean cities capsized due to a sudden turn, killing 304 of the 476 people on board, many of whom were students. In the days following the sinking of the MV Sewol, many blamed the ship's captain and crew for their actions, as they had allegedly ordered the students to remain in the sinking ferry. We were told to stay where you are, says this young passenger, so we stayed. Captain Lee Jun Suk was ultimately sentenced to 36 years in prison for negligence and for abandoning ship. We all prayed for the court to sentence the death penalty. We wished the crew members would suffer pain as much as our children did. Number 9. Bring Back Our Girls On the night of April 15th, a terrorist group kidnapped 276 girls from their school in Nigeria. We thought they were soldiers, and they asked us to board a vehicle, she says, which was headed towards Damboa. And my friends and I jumped from the vehicle and ran back home. Boko Haram took responsibility for the crime as they've been targeting schools and students for years. I took your girls. They are our slaves, he said. I will sell them in the market. Their ultimate goal is for the Nigerian government to stop intervening in traditional Islamic education. This event sparked a social media campaign that spread across the globe. Unfortunately, the kidnapped students remained hostages. Some girls escaped, some passed away, but those that remained with Boko Haram were forced into marriages with members of the group, and they continue to terrorize the region. I'm a young mother, so I can't imagine any mother going through this. It's disheartening, it's shocking. Number 8. The 2014 Israel-Gaza Conflict 
Though the events in the Middle East have been an ongoing news story for decades, new events in 2014 kept the story at the forefront of the news cycle. In June, a group of Israeli teens were taken from the West Bank and later found dead. This, compounded by revenge killings and other violence, eventually led to an Israeli military operation called Operation Protective Edge to stop the rocket fire coming from Gaza. More than 2,200 people died in the conflict, mostly Gazans. Though a ceasefire was called in August, this conflict is far from over. Number 7. Men Behaving Badly Ask the internet, even guys on the street behave badly. Hey, look at that! It's $5,000. But several 2014 news items saw men allegedly acting unconscionably. The NFL suffered a PR crisis when a video surfaced of Ray Rice knocking his girlfriend out. At night, you know, I just replay over and over in my head, you know, that's not me. My actions were inexcusable. Famously, allegations of rape dogged Bill Cosby for years, and in 2014, they resurfaced stronger than ever. There's no response. Across the pond, results of an inquiry found that deceased BBC personality Jimmy Savile had abused people between the ages of 5 and 75 over decades. He was hiding in plain sight, and yet none of us were able to do anything about it. And in Canada, media personality Jean Gomeshi was arrested in a media circus of a case for sexually assaulting several women and choking one. Not a great year for the guys. Number six. Scientists land a spacecraft on a comet. <laughs> Want some good news? Scientists are still trying new things. And in 2014, they managed to land a spacecraft on a comet nucleus. And this robot, called Philae, left Earth 10 years ago. So we are sitting on the surface. Philae is talking to us. More data to come and, and to be analyzed right now. OK, it didn't exactly go according to plan, but the landing did give them tons of info before the machine ultimately went to sleep. What kind of info? Oh, only data that supports the possibility that comets brought important substances to Earth that might have prompted the beginning of all life. We'd say that's a pretty big success. The little guy even has his own Twitter account. Number 5. Sports to the Rescue First to Russia and the Olympics. In possibly the priciest games ever, the Sochi Olympics started with some problems, like unfinished buildings and rumors of stray dog murders. But as an international sporting event, they were largely a success. However, if you thought sports were free from political discussion, think again. Aside from concerns of terrorism, the Sochi Olympics caused a stir due to Russia's anti-gay propaganda and safety worries for LGBT athletes. Politics also played a part at the World Cup, as the Brazilian government was criticized for spending billions to host the games as poverty ravages the country. But besides that, a good time was had by most. 5 now. 5 now. Number 4. The Ukrainian Protests in perhaps their worst confrontation since the Cold War, tensions between Russia and the Western world rose in 2014, with Ukraine right in the middle. Since leaving the USSR and removing their nuclear weapons in the 90s, Ukrainians have struggled to decide if they should keep closer ties with Russia or the West. When Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych reneged on an historic trade agreement with the European Union, supposedly at Russia's insistence, Violent protests began in Kiev, spreading and continuing through the year and leading to Yanukovych's replacement. No, Ukraine, strong country, and we обязательно выберем. With the strategically important region of Crimea also in play, this conflict could get worse before it gets better. We don't have guns, but if we had guns, we would use them. There are snipers firing. If we get weapons, we will shoot. We'll eliminate these animals. Number 3. Ebola By March of 2014, the Ebola virus had spread to several African countries. And soon enough, it was an epidemic that required the assistance of healthcare professionals from around the world. Unfortunately, that meant the disease spread to distant nations like Spain and the United States, with one man in the U.S. dying from the disease in October but not before he made the first known transmission of Ebola on American soil. Though containment of the virus was slow, the initial panic surrounding Ebola has largely passed. 
ivile kurwa akosinge ya na ba ya dia lo nindo makoreti no na pira bonyuru biri however the disease continues to rage and Doctors Without Borders criticizes the international response. We would like to do much, much more, but our first priority needs to be the security and safety of our staff. So we can't go faster than what is safe. Number two, ISIS. Commonly called ISIS, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria grew its public profile significantly in 2014, with high-profile actions and crimes, like the beheadings of several journalists. These jihadists have always been steadfast in their objective to create a Sunni Muslim state which adheres to a fundamentalist interpretation of Sharia law. ISIS is skilled in propaganda, in raising enormous amounts of funding, and in recruiting Westerners. President Barack Obama's government has targeted ISIS as a threat, and in August 2014, an American-led coalition initiated airstrikes in key IS territory. Last night, on my orders, America's armed forces began strikes against ISIL targets in Syria. Whether this leads to a full-scale war, we've yet to see. But we're going to do what's necessary to take the fight to this terrorist group, for the security of the country and the region and for the entire world. There were many other important stories in 2014. Here are some of the other headlines. We begin this hour with breaking news from our nation's capital. You see it on your screen right now. One person has been shot. We believe it to be a soldier at the war memorial. What you're seeing here is a woman now fleeing from another exit from this building. So that means two more hostages have fled. We've got five in total. And uh, as you can see from the apron uh, that lady is wearing, that is a another worker. Overnight, that umbrella from uh, being a household item suddenly transformed into a symbol of defiances. No one was able to tackle Omar Gonzalez during his run. No dog was released. And Chaffet says the alarm inside the front door that is there to signal a breach apparently never sounded. How bad a night was this for Democrats? Uh, it was really bad. I think it was. When you take a look at the election results in 2010 and this year, this was a wave, a Republican wave that hit and hit the Democrats and the president hard. The leader of a Mexican drug cartel has been arrested, along with dozens of police officers believed to be involved in the disappearance of 43 trainee teachers. And I'm proud that I'm the first Pakistani and the first young woman or the first young person who is getting this award. It's a great honor for me. It's actually men going after women in really hostile, aggressive ways. Mm -hmm. That's what Gamergate is about. It's mm -hmm. about, like, Ter like terrorizing women for being involved in this industry, for being involved in this hobby. So now the FBI wants to know who's responsible for a major cyber attack at Sony Pictures. One possible suspect, North Korea. And the reason? Retaliation for a comedy about an assassination attempt on its dear leader. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson. You need to exit the street. A white New York City police officer accused of killing a black man with a chokehold is not indicted. Number one, air travel disasters. 2014 saw some disastrous and sometimes mysterious air travel events. On March 8th, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared between Kuala Lumpur and Beijing, with 239 on board. The plane was never found, though it's presumed to have crashed in the Indian Ocean. 131 days later, Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was presumably shot down over the Ukraine, killing all 298 on board, though it's still unclear who downed the flight. Though tonight, Ukraine's president was adamant. This was no accident, he said, but an act of terrorism. Air Algeri Flight 5017 was another newsmaker in July, when it crashed in Mali, killing 116. Finally, the failure of Virgin Galactic in October and the resulting death of the co-pilot did little for Richard Branson's dreams of spaceflight tourism. While this is a tragic setback, we are moving forward and will do so deliberately and with determination. All in all, 2014 proved that maybe you should just walk. Did you remember these events? It's horrible. It's just backbreaking. To vote for which news story is covered next, Head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top tens published every week. Welcome 
to Jurassic Park. All I have to do is dream. Slinky? We had part of a slinky, but I straightened it. Thank you and hello again, everybody. Welcome to America's Top Ten. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. The story of Gore's escape from Earth. Our return to outer space. I tried the low carb bread. Have you tried it? It's horrible. I tasted it. I thought the wrapper was still on it. Uh, do you realize what a good man you're getting in me? On the good ship, lollipop, it's a sweet trip to a candy shop. May your heart always be joyful, may your song always be sung, and may you stay forever young. Oh, please, you're a tall glass of brown water. <laughs> Have dessert. May you stay. You're not afraid of death and getting, you know, getting older. We're too late about getting older. I mean, uh, my bucket list number one is wake up. But it's just... <laughs> Sister, when you get, give. When you learn, teach. These are lessons to live by. Because we are uncool. Now, while women will always be a problem for guys like us, most of the great art in the world is about that very problem. You don't know about real loss, because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. May you stay forever young. I'll be seeing you. <laughs>